Hi, this is Susie Leventero, and now we're on Gemini. Support local businesses. Organize a block party. Okay. All right, now here we go. Let's see what it says here. Okay, so there's going to be improvements in love and money coming in July. That's what I see. Okay. Uh, you don't have to wait for it. It's like the journey too, right? Love and money improving. Okay, so that's what I see. Okay. All right, Queen of Wands. Okay, so no more. Uh, this is the energy that I feel like you're facing uh, to your, your partner or past person. Okay, no more uh, spying and no more uh, cold face, right? Poker. No more poker face. Okay. All right, so that's improvement. Okay. All right. Warm. Yeah, tempering your emotions. Okay, so that could be... Um, that Libra moon wanting to keep peace in your world. Okay, and finding the balance, right? Like this one, it looks like it's got two birds in each hand, doves. Okay. This almost looks like a albino peacock or something. Okay. All right, so that could be balancing out your... Um, ego stuff, right? Having a nice, healthy uh, view of how you see yourself. Okay. And feeling light again. Okay. All right. So, looks like with your partner, there's been a lot of changes here. Okay. So, King of Cups. Okay. So, they're in their emotions. Okay. This could be you, but that's what I'm picking it up as your partner. Okay. All right. So now they've been through a transformation. They weren't showing you what was going on inside. Okay. And they really, what they were dreaming was a new, uh, a new beginning with you something light like when you first got together right how it felt like that they want to bring that back okay and uh, so and then this is the transformation okay wanting to go for it okay within a relationship dynamic okay now for some of you who are single this is transforming your relationship with a water sign Okay. Okay, could be earth or air here. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so anyway, here is the zero point. An ability and potential to tell us a whole new story within your relationship dynamic. What's next? Woo! See? Magician. Okay, so... It's like a lot of birds here. Okay, so. This isn't a rabbit in the hat. This is, um, this is like a birthday hat. Mm. Okay, so there's a monastery. Okay, there's a monastery at the top of a mountain that spiral. It's like you go up right and the monastery is at top okay so that could be your own mind rising to the crown and emanating the magic the light okay okay for some of you uh this is connecting with your uh, religion okay and that opens new doors okay and I'm getting morning glory. So, okay, what is that? Venus. Okay. 
That's Venus. Morning glory is Venus energy. Okay, so Venus... Okay, is moving from... I feel like it's a transit that's coming in from... Morning glory is a transit of Venus coming in from... Uh, is it coming in from Taurus? Okay. Anyway, that's what I'm feeling. Venus energy. So you're going to feel more lovey-dovey. Okay. And you're bringing the magic. Okay. Yeah. So you've got to let go of the hurts of the past, right? Yeah. And you're holding on to uh, how it was. Okay. How about renewing the vows to each other, right? Some of this, this is the structure you're in, government or religion. It's like trying new branches, right? Finding the wisdom, assimilating it into your experience, and then letting it go to free yourself so you can rise, right? It's all about rising, rising, okay. Rising to the occasion, Okay, because I feel like the world needs you. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Okay, and then here's the Ten of Pentacles. Woo! Okay, so whatever you're doing, right, people are learning from your experience also. Okay. And what is this? Okay, now for some of you, this is wanting to take, take new steps the first steps in a new direction you've got the world in your hands right and this eight of pinnacles is um finding new ways to bring in money that's what i'm getting with that okay because i feel like the focus on all this other stuff right this heartbreak and stuff might have affected the pinnacles for some of you okay but here is balancing act right okay some of you, I'm getting like uh, Europe. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, offering that love, right? Okay. Some of you have business in New York. Okay, so. All right, now. The key is to... If you find yourself with these thoughts, right, in the mind that aren't pleasing... See if you could bring the, the light to it. See if you could transform it through your loving energy. The waters, right? The still waters. Okay, so I'm getting the psalm. Something about still waters. Okay. All right, now, here is the Eight of Cups wanting to walk away. And wanting things to be fair and balanced in your love life. Both people, partners, giving to each other. Okay. All right, so here is the Libra energy. So that could be Libra moon right now, right? Because we've got... Um, we've got the Libra moon. Okay, but this could be your Taurus partner, right? And you want it to balance out. Okay. But sometimes from her, this is for someone, you, you're met with um, kind of like a, a cool exterior. But you wish that she would uh, open up, open the door of love, right? It's like withholding energy. Yeah, and that's been painful. Oh. Okay. And, uh, but you're the perfect match. Okay, so here's the sisters. That's what I'm getting with the Seven of Cups. Okay. The support. The energetic support. Okay, so connect to your non-physical energy too. Okay. Yeah. The love's there. Six of Cups. And some of you have family with this person, so that keeps you um, there also, I feel like. 
Okay, so it's calling for flexibility within a relationship dynamic. Okay, and um, yeah, so if you or your person was show, showing uh, coldness, okay, here are the swallows, and also I'm getting like Easter. Okay, Easter energy. It's like rebirth, birthing the new, holding on to this hearts, right? The love, holding on to the love. Okay, so this is like earth dragon energy. So it may take perseverance and patience for some, right? Okay. The key is nice, warm, open communication. And don't wait. This is uh, seize. It's like seize the day. Seize the day, right? And enjoy every moment that you have, that you're alive and living in vibrant uh, energy. Seize the day. Yeah. Some of you may have jobs where you're communicating to the world, right? Because you have the world in your hands. And uh, <laughs> this mustache. Okay. So, but the key is within a relationship dynamic, that warm, open communication, right? Right? And uh, that brings in this connection. Okay. Some of you have been in this relationship for a long time. This castle is feeling ancient. Okay. So, but I feel like um, this, this, whether it's you or your partner, can be illumined. Right? That's what I'm getting. Okay. So, um, I feel like that's what it's... Um, and then like these branches, right? They want, they want to come out of winter and see the green. Okay, see the love that's in your heart. Okay. Yeah, and it may take this youthful energy, Page of Cups. And, um, and opening up, that's what I'm getting. And um, yeah. This is like the angels helping you. Okay. I'm getting breakfast at Tiffany Vibes again. So renewing of the vows. That's what I'm getting. Okay. And this could be, if you're solo, renewing the vows to yourself. And reassessing your uh, year and where, which way you want to move. Okay. And then calling for the non-physical energy, right, through asking and move with that, okay, energy, that's what I'm getting, okay, all right, so, but right now, with the Libra moon, you may just want to keep the peace and be quiet and still, okay, so, um, and rest, rest when you need it, that's what it's calling for, woo, and see, when you do that, listening to your own body and your own energy, here is like look, looking like Aphrodite, right? And seahorse is all about union. Okay, so whether you're with a partner or not, this is like a, a hopeful uh, place. Queen of Cups. I leave you with that. Thank you.